this morning and I could just tell I'm having a bad hair day. But I'm sure I'll feel better once I put the comb through my hair. Ooh, yow. Got knots, I think. Ooh. Look at that. I've got... Yeah, 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 hang on, hang on. OK, it looks like I've got head lice. But I'm sure I can sort it out really quickly. But maybe it'll help if I know what are head lice. Uh, there's stuff that live in your hair and they suck blood out of your hair. Um, little insects that uh, live in your he hair that drink your blood. They live in your hair. Head lice are these little kind of insects, sort of like that. And then they suck your blood. Leaves. Um, and they crawl on their hair and it's itchy. Yeah, maybe they are some kind of insect. Well, nits and lice certainly sound like some kind of creepy crawly. Hmm. So maybe they're like insects that creep around on your scalp, your head. Well, there's only one way to find out, and that's with further investigation. Stand by for action. I'm about to shrink myself down to one hundredth of my normal size. That's so I can get right to the root of my problem in my own hairdo. Hey, wish me luck. Here goes. Get it? Here goes. Hey, it worked. I'm now about this big and I'm in my own hairdo on the search for head lice. I think I see one. Yeah, look. Let me get my ruler. Wow, it's about three millimetres big. Oh, it's got three parts to its body. Six legs. Hmm. And it's sort of a reddish brown colour. Gross. I'll see if I can get rid of it. Come on, lice, out of here. Come on, go. Hmm. It's really stubborn, it won't shift. Oh, but look at this. This looks like an egg. Wow. OK, well, let's get all this information back to the lab and see what plans we can hatch. Alrighty, let's see what we've got on camera. OK, so it's about three millimetres long. So that makes it about the same size as the sesame seeds on this bun, but it's probably not as tasty. What else can we see? OK, three parts to the body and one, two, three, four, five, six legs. Sounds like an insect to me. Oh, but see how it doesn't have wings? Head lice can't fly, and they don't hop or jump either. Instead, they move around your head by crawling and by hanging on tightly to a hair and swinging from one hair to another. So that means you've got to get pretty close to someone to catch head lice from them. Maybe when you give them a hug and your hair touches, or if you share a comb or a hat, and the head lice takes a quick ride. And see that browny sort of red colour? Well, that's got to do with what the head lice like to feed on. You see, they like to feed on blood. <gasps> no, it's OK, really. They're such small little fellas. They're not going to suck you dry. But that's why they like to hang around on the surface of a scalp, where your hair comes out. Because just underneath the surface, they can find their tucker. Blood. And that egg looking thing is an egg. A head lice egg. Also known as a knit. The head lice lay them in their hair nice and close to the scalp, where all the yummy blood food waits for them. It's the whole head lice life cycle, and it all happens on our heads. Aren't we lucky? Some people think you get head lice by not being hygienic. You know, not having showers or baths and hanging around rubbish dumps. Well... 
wrong. Head lice actually prefer nice, clean heads. So if you want to avoid getting head lice, do not bathe, do not shower, do not wash your hair, and always hang about at rubbish dumps. Okay, I'm only kidding. And although head lice do prefer nice, clean heads, they can be caught by any heads. Oh, except for bald ones. And it does pay to make sure you don't have head lice already. You can do that with detection combing. So what's it going to be then? Are we going for a trim or should I do something with these roots? Hmm? What's that? Oh, a standard head lice check. Not a problem. Your hair's nice and damp, which is good. And I'll just take the tangles out with this standard comb. So who do you think is going to win the netball? There. Now, have you seen one of these before? This is a head lice comb. And I recommend you use this about once a week. Now you just tar start up here at the top of the scalp and just work your way through gently through the hair all the way down from the top up here right down to the bottom there then you hold it up to the light and see if you've got any nits no fine I'll just finish the rest No, you're free of nits. I didn't see one there. That's great. Now remember to use one of these. Maybe get mum and dad to use it for you about once a week and you'll be fine. Because really, you've got lovely hair. Of course, if your mum or dad do check your hair, they're likely to find something. And if they find nits, that's head lice eggs, they can pick them out one by one with their fingers. But if they find head lice live crawling around your hair, then you're going to need the treatment. Now, some people think that this is the treatment. Vinegar and lemon juice. Unfortunately, wrong. This stuff just won't do it. Works well in a nice dressing, though. If you really want to get rid of head lice, you're going to need a special shampoo from the chemist. This stuff knocks them dead in their tracks. Let's do it. Okay, Laos, make my day. Feeling lucky? Guess not. Of course, if you don't have a shrinking machine, you can always wash your hair with this. And that's what I'm going to do. So, what are head lice? Well, they're really just little insects that like to live in your hair and suck your blood. But you can do something about them. You can get your mum or dad to check your hair for head lice with a head lice comb like this. And it's a good idea not to share combs or brushes or hats with anyone else or to let your hair get too close to other people's hair. Remember, everyone can get head lice, but everyone can get rid of them with a little help from this. If you'd like a fact sheet for this or any other Susie's World program, write to us at Susie's World, PO Box 34307, Birkenhead, Auckland. Hang on, did I say everyone can get head lice? Maybe not. What do you think? No? No, I think it's better this way too. Kaki te ano. Why they like to hang around on your scalp? I'll start that one again. Hang around? It's like, but that's why. Oh, I'm about to shrink myself. I've still got chewing gum in my mouth. Thanks to New Zealand On Air, we couldn't have done it without you.